I ain't gonna lie, but this is entertaining. They fighting each other. <laughs> Normally, I'd be the one throwing hands, but, um... Yeah, they fighting each other. And they give me some energy to raise this up. I should stop them. You guys should... Yeah, I should stop them before they kill each other, but it's entertaining. Okay, okay. I'll give it like five seconds or ten seconds. Um, Or when he gets half a health. And the music is playing, but the music is not for me. It's for them. Ah, jump down. So you guys don't care about me? Nope, they, they're literally trying. How do I stop them? Do I stop them by, I don't want to, I don't want to do, ah. This is not my fight. They can just, they can just, okay, okay, hey, don't, don't, what, no. Y'all trying to, stop it. Wait, you're just going to go after your other guy? Oh, okay, they're ignoring me. They are definitely ignoring me. You guys took one of your, one guy down, that, oh, and now you're going to, okay. Well, Layla, let's do this. Mm. I guess that's happening. This is a thing now. I didn't know, and you're gonna drown. So, what would happen if one of them is still standing? Well, he's the boss. My guiding stars, stars, shine for me. I go ahead and do this. So I can make this in faster. <laughs> go ahead and do that, that Tanari. And go ahead and do this. And go ahead and there electrocute no them one at it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and watch them no fight more. each other. And get some popcorn. Now all y'all are like low health. Y'all supposed to be friends. This ain't friendship. This is yeah. You're down, and now you're going to go after me? What did I do to you? You make no dang sense. <sighs> Truth be told, I was doing a quest, so this is the quest I was doing. And that was quite entertaining. Alright, so since that happened, I'm gonna go ahead and fudge. This is where my Archon quest might be, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna tread lightly if I'm gonna be right here. Anyways. That's that's convenient. This is where Charlotte is at. So, go ahead and do this. Go ahead and go here. Go ahead and scroll down. And then go ahead and do this. And then turn to newly lit. Because her banner is out. And I've been waiting for a while. So, yeah. Let's do this. Yes, let's do this. Alright, so. There's her banner. And I ended up in her territory by accident, even though I wasn't trying. So I was, I was gonna start wishing, but I realized I didn't really buy all the gems. So, okay, let me go here. And then let me go here, and then let me go here. And then that, and then there we go. So yeah. Wait, how much was that? I have, I'm at 41. Before I even go, I'm gonna do her trial run. Try.
Let's see, this is what she can do. Okay, there we go. So, basically... Oh, so it's kind of like a gun. So it was gill and water. All right, that's that's a bit faster too. She took some glasses off, even though she wasn't wearing glasses. All right, enough distraction. And what exactly is her her weapon? Is this? And it's crit damage and stuff. And this is the artifacts. Her constellation is this. And that's her talents, what I'm not gonna really review and look at, but if I do, then you read it yourself. Go ahead and pause if you want. Oh, she's gonna be handy. So she could give you like more rewards if you send her on a expedition. I'm gonna need an extra hand like that. So yeah, I'll need you. And that's enough reviewing. So let's go ahead and start challenge. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dang, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, my girl. Wow. I need you. I need you in my life. I, 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 it's still shooting. It still shoots. They're still shooting cannons. How long does it go? How many minutes? I got distracted. But yeah, that was that was cool. Well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Enough of goofing off and stuff. I'm gonna need this, and then I'm gonna need that. And I also noticed that when you're using that, it'll go for 15 seconds, but when you're moving around, it'll follow you around. Interesting. I think that's just in theory. That's what I think. Now that that happened, let's go ahead and go here. You're the only hope. You're the only hope to get her. Wait. My, one of my quests happens. But yeah, you're the only hope. It was a side quest. Let's go. Drink that water. One, uh, go. Oh. <laughs> it's gold. Please, please. Please don't, please, please don't psych me. Please be her. Where are you? My girl. I almost had a heart attack. I was getting nervous because after playing Honkai Star Rail, I was psyched. I thought I was going to get what I was going to get. But I didn't. And I'm I'm so glad she came. She was she didn't psych me. She came. Thank gosh. I only had to try that like 
one time, that's a wow. I can sigh. Relief. I'm 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 just relieved. I'm sorry. I, I need a breather. Give me a few seconds. <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm good now. Well, she's home. And Candace is here too. I already have Candace. Thank gosh. I got her. Now I have 31 of those. And that happened. Now, since that happened, let's go ahead and... Oops, no. Instead of doing that, let's go ahead and make a team party set up. Now I just gotta figure out what I want to get rid of. That's the shield squad, dragon hubby, and then wifey squad. Throwing team, keys herm. And then keys hubby team. Wander ain't no hubby though. He's just there because I want to fly around. Bow squad, all healer squad, and let's see, perfect harmony. Maybe the main the, the main squad. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and dismantle, I guess. I'll take the lead today. Oh wait, I should have looked. Are you going to hold a festival? Because I was too fast. What was her animation when you when you had her in the team? I I was I was too fast. Oh, that's what she does. I'll take the lead today. Okay, since that is put down, you know what? I might also yes. have from Nick, and I might also just put you. down his sister. Time for afternoon tea. And then I might also put new. <laughs> Cause why not? The pleasure is all mine. So yeah, and Newly is gonna take in charge of the team, and I would name it uh, there. <laughs> now deploy. All right, so now you're here. Good. You're home. Good. Welcome home, girly. Auto add. This is new. They didn't have this. But yeah, this is new. Like, I realized there was a lot of new, like, settings and stuff around. And then go ahead and use this. This feeling, it's like... Like a lemon cheesecake. I'm not gonna even question. Auto. And then use. She's not going to say nothing about that, but okay. I have no ascension. <sighs> oh. You're 40 and then... Yeah, I don't got nothing for you either. And I got nothing for you either, so I need to work on you guys. So, yeah. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and grind... Go ahead and finish up these quests. And then, yeah. But f before I even. Even. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of this because I would like to. Yeah. I'd like to do. um One of these siblings. No. These siblings quests story quests and stuff and they won't let me do it because there's a character in the middle of doing activities and who i'm gonna be seeing is newly yet but if i'm gonna do this i should not do this with this team because this team is gonna make me die yeah this is gonna make me die so yeah go ahead and go here i guess i'll keep jolly on and since that happened, speaking of John Lee, oh, I forgot to claim that. Speaking of John Lee, he's supposed to get a skin. I thought it was out, but 
is not out yet. Is I think it's gonna come around like January, the thirty fourth, the thirty first. But yeah, the, his skin I'm gonna try and get if if it is a thing, if it's gonna happen. Since that happened, go ahead. Newly lit, my hubby. Where are you? Come on in. Oh gosh. Simping mode activated. Simping mode activated. Simping activated. <laughs> yep, simping activated. Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. But as for what I'd like to discuss next, well, I still have some reservations. Oh, do you want to have a reservation to go for a wedding and get married and then go out on a restaurant, date in? Okay, I'll chill, I'll chill as a honeymoon. I'll chill, I'll chill. Okay, I'll chill, I'll chill, I'll chill. Given that we've already made the trip here, you should just tell us that you need us to help you with something, right? I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do, however, you should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. The situation is this. If I'm understanding you correctly, the Snezhnayan Harbinger known as the Knave has essentially requested a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? Where does she come from? I heard that she was originally from Fontaine. But for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. I'm guessing this is a flashback. Hmm. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. We convicted one of the Snezhnayan Harbingers in a court of law but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. In my head, I think that could cause some kind of war with the other nation. So that, yeah, holding Chad as hostage. No. We shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Oh? Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? It's like... like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends, as you did in your example. <sighs> it was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. Hmm. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. <clears throat> Even if the logic of the Divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It's sick, but more importantly, when I didn't mean to cut you off, my love. The meeting with you. <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 no. That that won't do. I can't. Go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. <laughs> Lady Farina, could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? No, not at all. Look, what the? I she just teleported. Archon of Fontaine, Thosalor, 
the god of justice who is loved and adored by many. There she go, talking all high and mighty and weird. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. So basically, Nilvia, you want me to go with her, is what I am thinking. Why can't you go yourself? But then again, I'll do whatever you want me to do. So if your your, your command, your order, because I love you, I, I do it. <sighs> he's annoyed. <laughs> yeah, he's annoyed. Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. Now this is the first time I've seen her. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina? Hmm. Lady Farina? Yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. I didn't know she had like X's in her eyes. To make this tea party even more. I've been seeing other different artwork and different someone else to join us styles today. of her. I didn't know her eyes look like that. Red X's. I'm off topic. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there is no need to introduce the nation's revered Eudex to me. Hello. The pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. Uh... Oh. I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. Please don't misunderstand. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood. Perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years. The people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. That is something truly worth cherishing, and no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nuvillette doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries, and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. Yes, as you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that Child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. He's so serious with his job. An outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. Okay, why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer Child to us. I only request to enter the Fortress of Meripede to see Child and confirm his condition. It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? Uh, um, about that. Farina is scared of her. <laughs> the Fortress of Meropede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there, and diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal. 
The knave showed up already? Well, Lenny did say that father will be returning soon. We didn't even know that Lenny was from the House of the Hearth at the time, so we kind of overlooked that information. Please be careful, my love. Newly hit. I need to stop. I need to yes, stop. I know I do. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. I also notice that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the Knave. I thought I was going to be at that meeting, but no, it was all a flashback. Could the Knave be threatening Lady Farina or something? If that were the case, then why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the Knave possibly have to twist the arm of an Archon? Hmm, so maybe that's not very likely. Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's or cuckoo. still an Archon. In the head. But yeah, she's still, she's still Archon, right? a god. In reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to reports from the Fortress of Meripede, child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Disappeared? The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the Fortress of Meripede. Special guards oversee the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind child's disappearance. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child, and it is my duty to see justice done. Can I hug you? I know, and that's off topic. I'm simping too much. I need to relax with the simping. So this is what you wanted to see us about before? Yes. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meripede and investigate Child's disappearance. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. The Knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, We will talk more once we have that report. So that means we bought ourselves some time! But why do you want us to go? Wouldn't it be more convenient to have an official from Fonte do this? Firstly, you're already acquainted with Child. Your eyes may discern relevant details there that others would miss. And secondly, is the consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Even today, sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. The Fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. All we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security, but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. Although I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there, neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Okay, then I should go then. Oh, Hyman gets it now. That's why you need us to conduct our own investigation as a third party, right? Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress during your detention. This will save us a lot of unnecessary trouble. So, are you two willing to accept my proposal? Yes, I will accept it. Like I said, you, you ask, I shall do. Let's do it. So since you're in a tight spot, we'll go. I know it says child, my friend. Yeah, he's my friend. I, I'm more doing it for like Nuvlet new, new than child, to be honest. Child, I, I like, I like you, but um, Nuvlet, I like you more. You two have my sincere thanks. 
This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. Also, I hope that both of you can keep this operation a secret. Don't hope, because we can. We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Merope's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. I will arrange for someone to take you inside. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside the fortress are nothing like those on the outside world. Because I imagine that the prisoners don't have much freedom or anything. They, they don't even probably bathe or anything, I imagine. But why don't you bathe with me, Newly? I'll, I'll, I'll chill, 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 I'll chill. <laughs> Even though we don't, we're not criminals. We didn't do nothing. We're just there to like visit. Uh, on second thought, is it too late to back out? Wait, unless it's Newlet telling me that he wants me to become a criminal, I'm confused. You didn't consider the fact. Well, I didn't consider that. We already agree, Pama. Just accept it. I didn't. Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivering this report. Now I'm double, but then again, whatever I just said, you, whatever you want, I do. But this is weird. I think I'm with Palm on that I should back out, but I'm, I'm already in it, so we're, we're just gonna go. You will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted to legal staff, regardless of the outcome. So are you going to put me in trial for, for, uh, oh, I don't know, unknown reason? Now that's more like it. Come on, traveler, let's go eat the best meal we can find. We'll eat so much that we won't need to eat another meal for a whole month. You're a treat. You're a treat. You're a treat. Well, we're going to jail. Now. Thank, Thank you. you. For no reason. Now, thank you. 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 It's like you got me a box of chocolate and I'll accept them. You so lucky that I like you. You lucky I can't say no and I like you. I'll go to prison just for no unknown reason. But yeah, I'll become a prisoner. Oh, no need to thank me for it. Just be sure to enjoy it. <laughs> I would start fangirling right now. But I'm not. Well, bye. And Jolly? <laughs> Wait, what are you looking at? You was looking at something. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, but, um... Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, exit out. Let's go. Let's see where that is. That is somewhere over here. I'll just teleport right here. All right. So, we're just gonna... It's somewhere this way. Yeah, down there. Anyways, before I even go down there, I'm gonna go ahead and say, stay out to take care. Until next time. I don't know if I'm gonna end this, but I think 100% I'm not gonna end this. Because I feel lazy. Osmantis wine tastes the same as I remember. Hush. But where are those who share? Hush, John Leash. Hush up. You do. You, you know what? Here. Yeah. Stay us the care until next time. Bye. And please stay safe, guys. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>